Elaine Tomsehera says thanks and happy holidays. Plus, Shante Jackson is the USATF's under-20 female athlete of the year. No surprise there. And we want you to check out our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, we drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, are you ready? Yep, good to go. Well, Shante Jackson is the AWU's International Under-20 Female Athlete of the Year. No surprise there. The youngster closed out the 2023 season as the fastest under-20 female runner with a time of 10.89, her new personal best. Just ahead of Jamaica's Elaine Alana Reed, apologies, whose personal best, of course, is at astounding 10.92. Can't wait to see the rivalry that is to come between those two young ladies for 2024 and beyond, if they remain healthy, hopefully. The youngster was also named the USA TF's Youth Athlete of the Year for the 2023 season. Also, no surprise there. Speaking about her astounding 10.89 to Athletics Weekly, the youngster said, I honestly wasn't aware I ran that time, 10.89, but when I saw it, I was shocked. She gave a rousing speech at her for, accept, for her acceptance of her USATF Under-20 Female Athlete of the Year Award. Such maturity. I would like, but my dad, my coach dad, he encouraged me to work hard and embrace the journey. And to every young athlete, it's not where you at, it's where you're going. And to make sure you have fun with it. It's been this year, this day and age is... Mental health is everything. Social media is everything. Please make sure you take time to put your phone down and just to worry about yourself. Take self-care days. Even with me, I know I have to, you know, I, social media is a big thing. I have to have social media presence, but I need to learn how to put my phone down because no matter how old you are, there's going to be some adult sitting on his couch trying to talk bad about you. So I would like to thank everybody who voted for me and everybody who's been supporting me throughout this year. Congratulations to Shante Jackson. Great speech. You may not be aware of it, but we have started a new channel called Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Uh, we will leave a description in the link below where we talk about uh, moving out of financial ignorance into wealth. Come check us out. You may like it if you do. Subscribe to the channel. It's brand new. Uh, and hit that like button if you enjoy the video. Today, we start a movement in a world where people are struggling financially. Our goals? First, financial education, then financial freedom, and then royals, wealth. So come and join the movement to wealth, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Link in the description below, wait royals. Elaine Tomsehera took time out to express her gratitude, not only to her management uh, and the sports management, but to us, the public, uh, first in, uh, in speaking to us directly, as you're going to hear in a few minutes. And she also did a wonderful treat for uh, the public. Guys, you know, it's coming to a Christmas, end of the year. I want to show you guys a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year when it comes. Um, I appreciate you all. Thanks for the love and the support as you approach 2024. Let's continue to work your dreams and your aspirations, whatever you believe in. Continue to push yourself, keep on smiling, praying, and just do you. Hey! Do you. One of my philosophies and obviously one of um, the great Elaine Thompson Herra's philosophies. Uh, so thankful and then she put on this amazing treat she's such a remarkable young lady absolutely remarkable Tom Sarah has a lot to be thankful uh, for for 2023. He started out the year okay and then it just got really bad because of injury issues. 
uh, towards the end, pretty much right before World Championships after failing to make the individual um, selection for the women's 100 meters and 200 meters. I mean, she's the fastest woman in the world over 100 and the third fastest all time, second fastest all time in the 100, third fastest all time in the 200 meters. Um, behind, of course, Sharika Jackson and Flojo, who is the fastest all time in the world record. Uh, and then she found uh, coach uh, Shaniki Osborne, who was able to turn it around. Um, she ended up, I think, with the fifth fastest time uh, for the 2023 season in women's 100 meters. I think it was 10.79. Looked great. Then there was this whole hullabaloo with herself and coach Shaniki Osborne. That, um, that arrangement, unfortunately, ended. And then, finally, she was able to um, acquire the coaching skills of the remarkable Ronaldo Walcott, who you know has brought Shelly and Fraser Price to the fastest time she has ever ran in her life, and who have her running faster than ever beyond the age of 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and now this year when she's going to be 37 into 2024. So um, I think the, the, the year ended very well for Elaine thompson Hera, and we are hoping and we also know that she's an Olympic baby. She tends to sparkle at the Olympics. Um, she's done this two Olympics back to back, um, winning both 100 and 200 meters double champion, breaking Flo Joe's record uh, in the 100 meter, um, in the 100 meter, Flo Joe's Olympic record, let me underline, in the women's 100 meters at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, which took place in 2021. So, I mean, you know, everything aligns. She's got a great coach again. Janika Osman, I thought, was a great coach too, but Renata Walcott is known also for producing uh, world beaters. We already know that she's a world beater, and I'm going to say it again. Some of you don't like when I say it, but at her best, she's unbeatable. There is no one on earth who has ever ran the time she has ran. The only person who did that owns the world record, and she transitioned many, many years ago. We're talking, of course, of the great Florence Griffith Joyner. So, um happy that she seems to be in a good mood and she's saying thank you for the support that we've all given including her uh, management team and that treat which is not the first time she's done this by the way let me tell you this i think this is not an annual event so happy holidays to you elaine thompson Hera, and your team your husband everyone from myself and the guys here the the, the, the crew here the team here at peter lloyd world now, once more, go out and check our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. If you're into wealth building, um, financial literacy, broken down in the simplest form that anyone can understand, go check out our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. I'll leave the link, link in, the, in the description below. Not sure we're going to put out any videos for 20, the 24th of December, the 2025th, but we'll be doing a third one for tonight. Um, the new Peter Lloyd World of Wealth video will come out after christmas but there's one up right now i think you'll enjoy it go check it out now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button remember you are royals you're kings and queens bless up